by Argyle Cyrus Gadiukos. Malakanang named China Telecom as the company which would set up the third telecommunications company in the Philippines. This came barely a month after President Duterte offered the slot to China, citing their capability to deliver good service to the public due to their advanced technology. According to Presidential Communications Operations Office, PCOO, Secretary Martin Ondaner, this information was revealed by Department of Information and Communications Technology, DICT, Officer in Charge, OIC, Eliseo Rio during their recent cabinet meeting. Presidential Communications Secretary Martin Ondaner, Albert A. L. C. A. I. N. Slash Presidential Photo Slash Manila Bulletin. However, Ondaner said China's largest telecommunications company cannot just set up shop in the Philippines due to the Foreign Investment Act, which limits foreign ownership to 40%. Kailanan Maganap NG Partner SA Pilipinas NA Hindi Pipit Sujan. Talagang Maraming Para Ahahabulan MOE on Globe at Saka Smart at, they need to look for a partner which has a lot of money because they will be competing against two other big companies, Ondaner said in an interview over Super Ray Dio Dazen BB today. He said China Telecom should also look for a partner with an existing telecommunications franchise as required by Philippine laws. The palace official however assured that the setting up of the third telecommunications player in the country would not take long as he noted that even President Duterte is backing this endeavor. Manamadali Naitong Gobierno Nadan Sapaga T. Abang, Tumatagal Nabubuizit Ang Mga Kababayan Nadan Samga Drop Calls at Mabagal Na Internet, the government is hurrying things up because the longer it takes, the more the public will get annoyed due to dropped calls and slow internet connection, Ondaner said. So Ang Presidente Mismo Ebi Nuxan Naya Na Ang Pintuan Ng Bansanadan Na Magaroon Ng Third Player, the President himself opened the doors of our country to foreign investors in order to level the playing field, he added. Ondaner was referring to the bilateral meeting of Duterte and Chinese Premier Li Keqiang last month where Duterte made the offer to the Chinese government. The communications secretary also assured the people that a faster internet connection will be coming their way due to the Luzon Bypass project which is a partnership of the DICT with an affiliate of social media giant Facebook. Under this partnership, Ondaner said submarine cables will be laid down from the United States to the Philippines where two terabits of internet connection will be given to the Philippines. Malalatog Sila Dito S.A., Strait of Luzon Tapos Gagawa Ang B.C.D.A., Bases Conversion and Development Authority, NGMGA Landing Station Dito S.A., they will be laying down the cables through the Luzon Strait and the B.C.D.A. will then construct landing stations at, Poro Point, if I'm not mistaken, he explained. Tapos Pag Nakalatog N.A. Ian, B.B. Jun Tayo N.G. 2 Terabits N.G. Facebook or 2 million M.B.P.s. Libra Ian, Waylon Bayad Ango Bierno, once that is completed, Facebook will be giving us 2 terabits or 2 million MBPs.